Hey everyone, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to the lovely ladies who told me that the last video I posted was missing some sound at the end of it. I'm so sorry about that. I loaded it up from my phone and do not know what happened. So I'm re-recording the that video um, so you can listen to all of it. So I uh, went ahead and got a great deal on vegetables uh, last week and some of them I haven't used so because I'm traveling for work next week I didn't want these vegetables to go to waste Matt wasn't going to um, use them so I had to do something with them and what I've done is I've actually chopped them up and frozen them it's the easiest way for me to actually extend the life of those foods uh, before they go bad so I had two red capsicums and two green capsicum capsicums I simply sliced them up seeded them and threw them into some Ziploc bags, put on how many items uh, with it, just with a um, Sharpie, and silver was the only one I had had around. So just with the Sharpie, threw on the date and the item and how much was in there, and they're ready to go into the freezer. So whenever I want to make a stir fry or I want to make something like a caponata or something like that, I can just throw it in there from frozen and they work a treat um, and that just means that capsicums sometimes can be really high in price so it also means that when you do want to make something with capsicum you can just use the one you've got in the freezer you're not spending a ridiculous amount on capsicums the next thing that i had was zucchini now in order to freeze zucchini you usually have to blanch it now i couldn't be bothered with that because i just wanted to get um the zucchini processed and into the freezer because I did this on a morning before work and what I did was I actually grated them and threw them in the freezer so I can make a zucchini bread or a zucchini cake and then I can just dump the entire package there's one I got I had two large zucchinis so there's one ziploc bag for each zucchini and I can just dump that entire thing into the cake mix and we're ready to go. It also saves on uh, prep time for either of those items if I choose to, when I choose to make them. Uh, zucchini will go mushy in the freezer. That's why you usually need to blanch it. If you're using this grated zucchini in a bread or a cake, it doesn't really matter if it does go mushy. That's why it's nice and easy to do it this way. The last thing that I do is... If I get a really good deal on spring onions, I buy them. And if I don't use them fresh, I chop them up and throw them in the freezer because I put them into stir fries or any, some other Asian dishes that I like to make and it gives a really nice freshness. So if you don't know, spring onions freeze really well and so do uh, herbs. I freeze herbs all the time. Hey everyone, I went to the supermarket tonight and I just wanted to show you all of the meat that I got. So I paid $51 for all of this meat. I got it at Aldi, it was super cheap. It was Aldi probably has the best deal on meat that I've been able to find. So, I'm going to show you what I got. I got 2 kilos of mince and that was $16.99. I got um, a kilo of bacon. That was $8.69. I got 1.2 kilos of chicken breast and that was $12.10. And I got, sorry, what, yep, it was almost 1.4 kilos of chicken breast. And then I got 1.27 uh, kilos of chicken thighs. Now what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've portioned them into 250 gram um, bags. So they're all portioned out. 250 grams is perfect for a recipe, even if you're feeding a family of four. So, usually 250 grams of protein is enough in your recipes and you would then serve that with a starch and, a, and some vegetables. That is why I portion them as 250 grams. The other thing that I do, so this is 26 meals for Matt and I, and I don't usually put more than one type of protein together so i wouldn't do bacon and mince in the same recipe so i'd use the mince in like a bolognese sauce or i'd make meatballs or hamburgers and then i would use bacon for either bacon and eggs or carbonara or another type of dish that has 
bacon as the main ingredient, like um, bacon and mushroom risotto or mushroom or cream sauce with bacon and mushrooms, something like that. And then I'd use my chicken thighs for something like a curry or um, something that's going to cook for a long time so that the thighs can become tender. And then the chicken breast will either be something that's quick and easy like grilled chicken breast or some sort of grilled chicken dish or a cooked chicken dish, something that is quicker and you don't want to let it stew as long. So each of these bags comes to be somewhere around the $2 mark. So that means depending on what starch and what uh, vegetables I put with it, I can get a meal for under $5 uh, or somewhere between $5 and $10. But we want to make those meal, those, I mean, these are going to be dinners. They're probably not going to be lunches or breakfast. We want to reduce the cost of those as much as possible so we can use mon our money somewhere else. Um, and this is good food. So this is going straight into the freezer. Like I said, it'll give us 26 meals out of that. And it'll probably last us about two months. Um, you know, I've got other stuff in the freezer at the moment. This is just the meat portion. I have frozen bolognese sauce and other um, things in the freezer that are frozen that I can just whip out for dinner. So... A good tip is to bulk buy when you get a good deal on meat and stock it in your freezer. You can Then you can have it as cheap as you possibly can. If you go to the supermarket every night and you're buying based on a recipe that you want to make, you might end up paying a lot, lot more for your meat or your chicken or your bacon than if you decide to do it in advance, have it all stacked in the freezer and then you just grab it the night before or the morning before you go to work and put it, let it thaw out and then when you're home, it's ready for you to cook with. So another quick tip is to always label your bags with the date and what's in them and how much is in them. So in this case, they're chicken thighs and they were processed now, we're, one, we're still in May, but we're one day out of June. So I've put the 619, I've got the, the chicken thighs, and there's 250 grams in there. So when I pull it out of the freezer, I know exactly how much is in each of these bags and exactly what it is. So I hope you like this. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time on Do It Frugal. Bye!